Hey guys, what's going on today? This is Dal Su back with Hearts of Iron 4. If you've been following the series, you know what's going on. Uh, I attacked Guatemala, took over Guatemala, and then just like completely bungled the peace deal and for some reason let them just get away with a white piece. So that was a dumb mistake. I've since rewatched the video several times, figured out what I did wrong. I clicked the done button instead of the pass button. So if you're planning on leaving me a comment, um, you know, you don't need to. I figured it out. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. It was pretty dumb, but those things happen. In Let's Playing, you can't always, you know, like, uh, look cool, so to speak. Uh, call to arms request from Japan. This is about to get interesting. See, this would mean... I would only be fighting China. What happens if I decline? I don't really want to fight China. So, no. I mean, is that going to make Japan hate me? Probably. Right? No, they, they like me, actually. So there was no penalty for that. Weird. Alright, then. So what are we going to do? We are currently having to reform. And I'm a little bit confused, too, because I already had uh, a claim on Cuba, but it seemed to go away. That, I don't understand why that happened. Because I had already completely gotten the claim on Cuba, and for some reason it just went away. I still have not figured that out. All these guys, I'm going to cancel the front here. Trash that. And you guys are going to probably prepare a naval invasion, so why don't you go to that port there. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm recruiting a bunch of Marines. Okay, we're getting mad at Guatemala here. Which is nice. And we don't like Canada. We're pretty much trying to form reasons to go to war with everyone. Alright, so we've got some bonus for transport modules. We need to probably pick, pick up some new transport models. Yeah, there's not a whole lot we can do at this point unless we go to war with one of the major allied powers. This will give us a focus on Chile. I thought it was supposed to do it for, uh, for Venezuela. Hmm. So this would actually cause some fascism support for Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, and 14 others. Okay, let's do that. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen there, but... Apparently we do not... not uh, okay, it's because... You're quite fascist, actually. Alright, fair enough. So, we're going to try to attack Guatemala again, and then not, like give them white peas for some weird reason. Uh, let's do a few more civvy factories. Various places. Might as well pump up our Mexican states with a few more. Alright, better... this is, um... Air Cobra. This is a better fighter, so I'd like to immediately switch on that. Maybe on our production tab. Where's my fighter? Go to fighter two. Good deal. Okay, so yeah. And when you're at, while you're at it, why don't you fill up that line? Because those are important. All right. Next tech. I think I want better amphibious assault. That is under here, isn't it? No, it's under here. Where is it? It's under navy. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes you can miss this tech because it's all the way at the bottom. Let's go ahead and grab it. We have a bonus on it. It's going to take 61 days. Plenty of time for our naval invasions to happen, or at least to be kind of planned out. We got some armored divisions. Uh, they're going to go join Ike, I think, for our planned invasion of Canada, when that's going to happen. Yeah. Do it like that. They move quite fast, which is nice. Okay, so we've got our claim on Canada. Why don't we just fucking attack Canada? Really, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Yeah, Canada, I'm sorry, get fucked. 
We're going to get like half the war declared on us, but we can also call our allies. Let's do it. YOLO. We just made a whole bunch of shit happen. Okay, so we've declared war and we called Germany in. And it got merged with all the, the major world wars. So we're, we're at war now. And we're at war with Canada. So who else are we at war with? Let's, let's take a look. Uh, that's going to be under... Where do you actually see that? I actually don't know. Okay, diplomacy, right. It's going to be here, but there's no way to, like, sort it. We're at war with Argent... No. We're at war with Australia, Belgium, British Raj, Canada, of course, Denmark, Finland, France, Luxembourg, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, Poland, Romania, and South Africa, and the UK. Okay, so I'm not too worried about that, actually. Let's see if we can invade Canada, shall we? Should I split these into two armies? Perhaps. It looks like Ottawa is undefended. Let's just move into Ottawa, shall we? Doesn't seem like there's any reason not to. And they're like a major Canadian city over here. Let's grab the port of Vancouver. And we need to consider our plans for... No, we didn't really think this out very well, did we? Convoy group, why don't you cancel these? Actually, there's a... Should be a, a one, one button for this, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to go and do... Like here. Not really responding to me, is it? Let's see how we do here. Alright, so we want you to convoy raid here. Ah, God damn it. Sometimes these controls. Alright, convoy raid. Right click, right? Right click. Here, here, and here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So we're probably not going to fight Guatemala for a while. All right, you guys. Uh, I don't. I can't figure out how to like cancel their mission. You just click like. Cancel the mission. Cancel the mission. Should be uh, like an easy button. Okay, you just do that for future reference. And then you re-click it and you go like this. Okay, so that's going to sort of keep them from reinforcing too much. And I think I'll move this fleet up northward. And it looks like I have two battleships kind of waiting for us there. Also, we've got this fleet we can move up here. And we need to reconfigure our air support as well. Where's our biggest air force base in the north? It's going to be here. Actually, don't have any major ones. We've got oh, we've got a 10 out of 10 here. All right, let's do that then. So let's open up the Texas screen. We have them all go there. Good deal. It'll take a little while. But it really looks like they don't have much of a resistance. I don't know if I'm misreading this or what, but... Okay, how about some more equipment there for our soldiers? That'd be nice. I don't see... I mean, I guess I'm just going to do this manually. If there doesn't seem to be a lot going on. I'm just going to, like push into Canada a bit, take it over, let's see what that, what happens with that, okay, we've got some Canadian soldiers finally showing up here, but we've easily taken what I, no, we haven't actually taken it yet, okay, that makes more sense, let's slow things down a little bit so we can get a better handle on what's going on here. We also do not yet have air superiority, so we need to consider that. 
move this tank division in. I mean, I will use battle plans here in a minute, but it doesn't seem necessary right now. I've kind of got this sorted. Still don't technically... Yeah, Ottawa and Montreal right next to each other, right? Okay. Move in there. No resistance so far. You do like that. I'm gonna extend our borders a little bit, but get some more artillery going. <laughs> All right, I see some resistance around Winnipeg here, which is now their capital. Let's just drive it home with the tank, shall we? The British may come at some point. I don't know. We'll have to see. Got plenty of manpower. We can last for an extended fight. I'm sure we'll get a naval invasion at some point. In fact, I'm really looking forward to having those marines spawn. Why only... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're all going to spawn in Louisiana. Alright, so we're going to have to deal with Guatemala at some point. And Cuba. But this war seems frightfully easy. Let's bring our tank in... We go like that, scoop up all this, then cross over, scoop up all this, scoop up all this, and then come back. Sounds good? Alright, sounds good. Those tanks are useful because they're super fast. Come on, Canada, what do you got? You moved your capital to Edmonton, huh? I think I'm going to make like a separate army. No. What I want to do is draw an offensive line like here. But I only want it to be supported by these. So that's going to be 13 divisions. Is that right? Okay. So you guys go ahead and do that. Right? They're going to do that now. Okay. But these guys are not going to do that. Is that right? Yeah, I think I finally figured that part out. <laughs> it took me a little while. We don't have air superiority because we haven't assigned it yet, but it doesn't seem like we actually really need it. We'll attack into here and see see what they've got. This is actually two provinces. Okay, at this point I would like to have air superiority. But that might be a little far away. We've got Eastern Canada and Western Canada. Western Canada is going to be too far. Alright, so let's see. We've got... Some planes down here as well. They could come to a small air base. Michigan. It's going to be slightly overpopulated, but that's okay. Support this guy, please. So, yeah, we're going to win that. We've upgraded our mechanized equipment, which is nice. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our marines as well. Um, yeah, no divisions are in basic training right now. Which is probably unwise. So, wait, mechanized and motorized are different? Are they? I'm going to have to assume they're different for the time being. But I'm not sure about that. Go ahead and tell it to fill up. And I would love some mechanized divisions. Let's see about that. We got motorized divisions and... They basically just have motorized infantry. I guess, yeah. But mechanized must count for motorized. A little bit confused about this. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, well we're going to go ahead and train some motorized infantry. No, not like that. We're going to do like five of them. Up here. 
Sounds good. Uh, did I do that right? No. Here we go. All right, so we got some units training. I think it's about time we had some air superiority here in uh, Western Canada. Some of them will be able to go to Western Canada, but not all of them. Sucks. It's, there's got to be a closer air base. Really not. We could use this one for some airplanes. Alright, I'll tell you what, you guys. All of you. Come here. Then we should be able to do, do the trick, I would think. Smash them. Mechanized offensive just in time for a little bit more breakthrough and some better equipment. Deal. Hmm. Weapons 3 were a little bit ahead on. I'm going to jump the gun. Uh. I guess motorized is, mm, might be a little different. I'm confused about that. We could get a better tank. Let's do that. 1939. It's time for better tanks. And next land doctrine, we could get hard attack or we could get soft attack. I like soft attack because I've got a lot more soft attacking troops than I do otherwise. Where's that tank that I told to like capture everything? He's still going. Taking a little time. All right, then let's capture this air base. Let's fight these guys. And you, you capture all this, like so. It's easy when there's no resistance, huh? I've got my 10 Marines down here in Louisiana ready to go, and my five Mountaineers down here near Guatemala. I guess we could fight those wars simultaneously. We're, we can actually get rid of the Great Depression now, which is what I'm going to do right away. I've been waiting to get rid of that for like five years, so I'm ready. To, I'm ready to be done with the Great Depression bullshit. Better landing craft is nice for any amphibious assaults. And it's 1940. We might need to upgrade like battleships and stuff. Let's upgrade a battleship because we we've created some more battleships over here. Actually, they're not really being used right now. These guys are also not being used, but we've got our, we've got our, uh, don't we have subs patrolling? Or do we never actually do that right? These guys are supposed to be up here patrolling. Why are you down here? That's awfully strange. Did the same thing happen over here? Where I told you to patrol. And are you? Or are you like still down here? That doesn't make any sense to me. And now they won't even move. Because we know too little about this region. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Why don't you go there and then we'll try to deal with you again. Because otherwise, yeah, he's going to get some British divisions coming in. We definitely don't want... So why don't you guys uh, search and destroy? Keep left clicking when I'm supposed to right click. Okay. I'm interested to know where the hell my subs think they're doing, but whatever. What about these guys? Are they actually here now? They seem to be kind of doing the job. All right. All right, we've got Guatemala's justification. I don't know how long it's going to last, but we've got the Reich coming in to help us out, which is nice. Not necessary, but it's nice. I don't know, Quebec City might be nice to take. Canada is weak. I would not have thought they were so weak. How's our drive towards Edmonton going? It's like very slow here. Can we punch a hole in these guys, please? Why 
Why can't I even see like who I'm fighting? That's a little bit weird, isn't it? Oh, we had a, a, a battle in the sea. Western seaboard. What happened? I don't see my results. Who's got low supplies? Why? Why? Local infrastructure is incoming is 2.6, so I can only support three, but I've got five, seven units, so essentially I need to split up a little bit. Easily done. Okay. How is this drive towards Edmonton going? It's slower than I would like, but let's bring that tank in. Aren't you supposed to go up to the front line? Things are happening slowly here. Isn't there like a big city over here? Vancouver or something? Yeah. Well, I thought it was way bigger than that. I guess not. All right, why don't you go and take over wh whatever island this is? Prince Edward, maybe? My Canadian geography's not that great, sorry. Push into there. Push into there, eh? Alright, well. Seems to be going pretty well. Although, there's in the vast, empty tundra, there's not a lot of uh, war goals to take. Looks like they're going to change their capital to Quebec. I guess that's Quebec City, not this. Wait, how many Quebecs are there? Well, Quebec is a province, anyway. Alright, whatever you say, game. You obviously know better than me. Let's see. The UK needs to be taken over at some point. That's gonna be hard. But, you know, the German Reich is pretty powerful, so I wouldn't worry about them too much. We can also take over this little slice. Anyway, that's about all the time we have for today, so our war with Canada is going well. We've got the Reich on our side, we've got Marines down in Louisiana, and we can attack Guatemala and Cuba after this is over with. But I assume the war is going to be going on for a long time since it's part of a kind of an international struggle. Let me check and see before we quit if my damn subs have decided to play ball. Looks like they have. This is not my... these are not my subs. Let's see. U.S. Navy Group 2. Yeah, this is different. Okay. Are you guys playing ball? Yeah, it looks like they are. All right. Well, that's been a pretty good episode. Uh, running on low supply here We're in a couple places. Mostly just because I've stacked too many units. But we'll deal with that on the following episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.